Sandra, are you ready yet? What's taking so long? I'm trying to get ready. Take forever. You take longer than a girl. Did you even say good morning to our YouTube family? Oh yeah, she is a girl. No. Good morning, YouTube family. It's like what three in the morning? Three thirty. I haven't even went to sleep yet. I'm already getting sick. Of course, right? Somebody has to get sick when you're on vacation. Fish All right, you stay here, and I'll go by myself. I don't think so. I'm like super excited, even though you can't tell because I'm all nasally, but super excited. You don't look excited. I feel like crap. I need some allergy medicine. I haven't even been to sleep yet. You know what you need? You need some shot, 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 I haven't shot, even shot. been to sleep. Here, do this. Close your eyes. Not with a curl in your hair. I'm really, really excited though. Like super duper excited. My hair always looks super red in this camera when I'm in this bathroom. I don't know why. So yeah, I'm gonna just wait to do my makeup in the car because I'm like all congested and feeling like poopy right now. So there's no sense in me putting on makeup and then having to keep blowing my nose and it's just gonna come off. So I'm gonna wait. And this is all the makeup that I'm bringing with me. I'm bringing two foundations. This is that um, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. This is the matte one that I use. So you can tell it's just a little bit off color wise, just a tad. Um, but it's still, it's not really that noticeable. I'm bringing me some extra jamberry, which is what I have on my nails right now, in case these peel off. And my MAC powder, my eyeshadows, I'm only taking my Sephora palette and um, a black eyeshadow, Bobbi Brown foundation stick, uh, my NYC Showtime velvet eyeliner, which I really, really like. It's really, like it just goes on really, really dark. My blush, cream, um, concealers, voluminous black mascara, which is a must have for me. Eyelash curler, tweezers, my favorite black eyeliner. I put my uh, Philips magnesium in this and I just dab a little bit on my T-zone so I'm not oily. And then I have all my brushes in here. That's basically it. We're in the car finally and it is 4.04 so we're right on time. <laughs> I desperately, desperately needed this Claritin so thank goodness they had some. There's Joe. He's getting a breakfast taco. He's hungry. It's going to be about four hours before we're um, in Scotts, Louisiana. And Scotts, Scotts, Louisiana is where we're going to stop to get um, fresh boudin. I think that's about maybe an hour away from New Orleans. So once we hit there, we only have like an hour left. And then um, I don't know what we're going to do in New Orleans. Like the first thing. But oh my god. I just, I want to nap. <laughs> I want to go to sleep so bad. So I'm going to take this Claritin. And then I'm gonna go to sleep because I am so tired guys. I have not slept since yesterday And even yesterday I didn't get much sleep I only slept a few hours. So I am like drained. Yeah, bye <laughs> <laughs> All right <laughs> so Is that how you dance? Uh, I guess we'll find out in New Orleans. <laughs> I had doubt it though. So we just stopped here at Dawn's best Booting and what does that say? Special, Cracklins? Special to me. Yeah. Crack Cracklins. Now I feel like myself. I have makeup. I don't have makeup. There. You feel like yourself? I don't feel like myself and I don't have makeup on. So now I feel like myself finally. And I'm starting to lose my voice. I can already feel it. We got it. Let's try it now. I didn't want to record in there because it was like awkward. Everybody was like all quiet and staring. So I was just like, uh. <laughs> I, think just, they, I think they knew we were, we're, from, te we're from Texas. They were just like looking at us like we're not only, not only the maybe with my hat maybe. We just looked out of place. You think? We looked we felt kind of out of place and everyone was just like staring at us like we were weird. Steaming hot. Mmm, smells good. Whoa. That looks creepy. You have to try it first. So that's the filling right there. And it is so good. I wish I had a fork because I can't really eat it, but I want to eat it with my fingers. That tastes really good. We really should taste it. Maybe, maybe you can feed it to it. Or maybe I can just eat it and you don't get any. So I'm gonna have to come back. If you're ever in um, Scotts, Louisiana, right? That's where we're at. Make sure you stop here. Don's Specialty Meats and try their boudin. Boudin! Weird.
it. We're finally here in uh, the French Quarter area. I guess, I don't know. I mean, I guess this whole thing is called the French Quarter. Well, this is like close to like Canal Street. Canal Street is like very popular. Oh, okay. And at the end of Canal Street, that way it's like, uh, well, here it is under Double Tree. Where? Oh, okay. So that's what we're saying, Double Tree. And the cute trolley. I just realized there was a line for the beignets. Are they that good? Holy moly. Oh, but I like playing these paintings. Oh my gosh. So I guess it's like a really, really popular place. You thought know. you would be the only one in line? I didn't think there was going to be a line. That's crazy. Oh my god, it must be that good. It must be my lucky day because this is right next door to a hotel. <laughs> Pink Berry. We're here in the hotel finally and I'm gonna give you guys a really quick room tour. This is the Double Tree by Hilton, you said? Yeah. Okay, you walk in. First thing you see is the vanity area with the pretty lights. This is the closet and the restroom. Oh, they just smell these. It smells like roses. They all smell the same like roses in the bathtub. And then this is the room, which is really spacious. I like how spacious the room is. Don't forget a free cookie. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, that looks good. Where's mine? This chocolate mm -hmm. chip? Mm -hmm. They give you a free cookie here at Hilton or Double Tree, I mean. It's nice and warm. Oh, it is hot. Here's the bed. Oh, I like the desk. I can edit my video tonight. So this is our view of the French Quarter, I guess. I don't really know much about this area, but I'm guessing this is the French Quarter. Mm, this is further down where we're at, baby. Oh. Over there where we're at is French Quarter. <laughs> Tell the story again. All right, when we're getting our luggage out and we're coming up to the room, there's a guy, he walked up to me, he goes, man, you wore the right shirt today. I go, why is that? No, first of all, I told, I told him, I know, I know why, because Sandra told me it's like kind of like a gay pride weekend, whatever. He goes, yeah, there's a lot of gays out here, baby. <laughs> I was going, yeah, I picked the right shirt to wear this time. <laughs> so you don't get hit on all day long? Probably, yeah. <laughs> Joe, look what they got here. Oh, OMG. It just right, falls me everywhere. I love pink berry. We're going to get some. Oh, this area is so pretty with the palm trees. This is so awesome. I have no idea what that is. We're walking down Canal Street right now, trying to find something to eat. We're not really sure what yet, but we'll find something, right? Same. I love that building, whatever that is. I don't even know what it is, but I like it. I have to go in here. Oh, pink galore. It's my dream. It's so pretty in here. Like yes, we're finally here down on Bourbon Street. Where are you going, Joe? You just follow the crowd. <laughs> you just get sidetracked. Yeah. Why is he not moving? <laughs> is really bad. Those are super cute. So we finally made it here to the cafe. I don't even know how to say this word. Dulmonde. I did it say like, Dulmonde. You say it like a mix, like no, in Spanish. They got to say it like in French. Yeah, that's not how they would, whoa. But I don't know. Anyways, we made it and the line was a lot shorter. So we decided to go ahead and try it since it wasn't that long of a wait. So we finally got our beignets. Let's film Joe eating it for the first time. Joe Rodriguez. I know, it's like giant. <laughs> well, what's the verdict? This is French, but it looks like they got it from the Spanish. 
why. Because it tastes like a sopa pia. <laughs> oh, I need some honey. I need some honey. Are we at Pancho's? Is it good? It's good. It's real doughy, but it tastes like a sopa pia. <laughs> This is the where the boats are coming in, I think. He's had too much to drink. Way too much. <laughs> that doesn't represent anything, right, Joe? That you touched it? So we ended up eating at a um, Landry's, which it was all right. We only ate there because it was indoors. We didn't want to be outside because most of the restaurants are like open concept, like to the outside air. So it's so hot, we couldn't do it. We're like sweating. Your shirt was drenched. Oh yeah. I was hot. I'm getting but blisters on my feet. There's a difference between Landry's here in New yeah. Orleans and uh, Landry's over it's there like in Houston. It's like really, uh, what'd you say, Cajun? Yeah. It's like it's Creole. 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 So it's like everything's like really, really spicy and salty. just salty. Yeah, very salty. Just wasn't the same as it is in Houston, but oh well. At least I got fed. I was hungry. And we got my shirt dried off. <laughs> it's and just, I still got this. Oh gosh. So anyways, we're going back to the hotel now and we're gonna take a nap because we're just so tired. So we're gonna take like a three hour nap and then we'll start walking around again. I'm so tired. I'm so sleepy. I'm good to go for 10, 20 more hours. Whatever, you're ready for a nap too. He said he's gonna take a three hour nap. I agree with that. Oh, bed, you look so pretty. We are awake from our long nap. And um, right now we're gonna go to Pinkberry so I can go get some frozen yogurt. And then <clears throat> afterwards we're gonna stop at um, Hera's Casino, which is across the street. And then, I don't know, we're trying to figure out what to eat. We just don't know what to eat right now. Um, we don't want Cajun food because the food that we ate at um, Landry's was pretty much Cajun food, so. Creole babe. Or Creole food. It's, diff it's a difference. I don't know the difference. It's, it's like more like spicy or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm craving. I don't know what I'm craving. I'm not craving anything really. I feel kind of. I guess I still feel kind of sick. My voice is starting to go. And um. Yeah, you're craving water. I mean, I'm gonna drink. I'm just gonna wait till tonight. But I have no idea what I want to eat. I just. I don't know. Maybe American food. I don't know. So we're gonna go. Probably just ask people as we're walking around. Ask them where's where's a good place to eat. So right outside of our hotel, which is right there. We got Harris and Saks Fifth Avenue. I guess it's like a mall right there. This camera keeps fogging up. It's because of the, uh, the humidity, baby. Yeah. So we're gonna go right here, which is right next door to us. This is the Pink Berry. Oh, that's a shirt. Oh, that's a fucking shirt, yo. Sure, yeah. <laughs> what I say? Everyone likes your shirt. We came back to the hotel because, uh, well, Pink Berry didn't have the strawberries, so I didn't get any frozen yogurt. But um, we had to come back to the hotel because I just realized I don't have my ID on me. I'll show you guys what's across the street from the hotel. Can you guys see what's over there? It looks really small. I don't know what that is. Oh, an aquarium of the Americas. Saks Fifth Avenue. And there's Harris. Which we're gonna go back to once I get. Oh, you can see the pool from here. Can you see it? This window's dirty. Look at that big boat. Be any bigger? Yeah, I don't think she can see it. <laughs> All right, Joe, so I'm gonna need you to hit that 500 mark every single time, okay? All right, let's, All right, let's give you some luck. Let's give you some luck. <laughs> let's go. You got the, the free game. Oh, cool. I wish it landed on that $20 one. That would be good. <laughs> Five, three. Oh, part three? Yeah, because I already get I already get touched two and put one more three. Awesome. Here we are, $105. We just left Harris and right now we're walking back towards the streetcars uh, over by the river. We're gonna try to figure out how to catch a streetcar. <laughs> we still don't know how it works. So crazy, huh babe? I know. Like super crazy out here.